Tim Burchett, Congressman, great to have you on. Good morning. Good morning. Um, well, this is, it's unbelievable. Uh, you know, the convention last night, what a sight to behold. Mm -hmm. uh, an emotional Donald Trump almost brought to tears as he walked yeah. out there onto the stage uh, with J.D. Vance. That's the ticket, Trump Vance 2024. Uh, this all taking place last night, less than three days after his life was almost taken in Butler, Pennsylvania. Um, take us through where you are with this investigation and what you're trying to get out of holding these hearings. Well, first of all, thank you all for having me on. I think the director of the Secret Service needs to be fired. This is just a complete failure on their part, and there is no room for, for, for any of this. You, you saw last night who was guarding the president was people that were bigger than he was. Mm -hmm. You had folks, that, you know, that iconic picture where President Trump's doing that. He should have never been able to do that because there shouldn't have been somebody who was a head shorter than him guarding him from the crowd. Yep. You know, th this is just a DEI initiative. This uh, the, the director had said that, that she wanted 30 percent female. You know, I don't care if you have 100 percent female. You can put purple unicorns in there, but they dropped the ball. Complete line of sight uh, for this yeah. sniper. Was there? We need to know who who are our snipers? Were they Secret Service? Were they um, Homeland Security? Was there a um, uh, just like in Afghanistan, rules of engagement? They got 13 brave Americans killed. Was there? Did he have to get permission to take that shot, or do they are they allowed to do it on their own volition? There's a lot of things we need to know. Um, we need to know how this 20-year-old was able to get up on this rooftop, where this ladder came from. Did he just walk out of his, apparently out of his van, parked in a field behind the um, behind the building? There's so many questions. Yeah. And, um, you know, and, and I called for the hearing this week. I said, you know, to hell with the convention. Let's get on with this thing because any delay will feed the 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 furor and the fever of a conspiracy mm -hmm. yeah and you wonder why the left is is curious as to how this happened when they've been calling trump hitler for years now and then president biden says that we need to put president trump in a bullseye lester holt asked him about that last night take a listen you called your opponent an existential threat uh, on a call a week ago you said it's time to put trump in the bullseye there's some dispute about the, the context, but I think you appreciate the I didn't say crosshairs. Matter. I was talking about focus on. Look, the truth of the matter was, what I guess I was talking about at the time was, there was very little focus on Trump's uh, agenda. Yeah, the term was bullseye. It was, a, it was a mistake to use the word. I didn't, I didn't say crosshairs. I meant bullseye. I meant focus on him. Focus on what he's doing. So bullseye, crosshairs, he's, he's using that motion with his hands, focus on him. It's, yeah. it's all the same yeah. thing. The sight of a gun? It, yeah. it is all the same thing. This shows you just how mentally decrepit this president is. But, you know, when um, he, he said he did, his statement, I think, was the original statement was crosshairs. But, the um, you know, you have Benny Thompson, a, ran a ranking Democrat who was what well, he in charge of the January 6th commission. Him and nine other Republicans or eight other, I mean, excuse me, eight other Democrats had um, uh, tried to take away President Trump's Secret Service detail even just weeks before. You know, this thing has just gotten out of control. She, she needs to go. She needs to go, and there is no question. And you know what? She won't be. She'll, she'll keep her job. They will, um, they'll, they'll cover this thing up like they always do. You know, all these, if you look at any, any assassinations in this country, it's always the lone gunman. And it's just, it was just a fluke, uh, a lapse mm. in security. And then years later, we find out that was not the case. Yeah. We need yeah. to get to the bottom of this one in a hurry. We need to bring them in. You know, the Secret Service is, a, you know, they were in charge of the uh, the cocaine investigation at the White House. Mm -hmm. You know, they said, we're down to 200 people. And then we're called off the investigation. You know, this thing is just, this woman was in charge of all that. And, and she needs to go. This is a DEI hire. And 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 you know, she needs to go back to PepsiCo Garden Frito Lays yeah. because she is she is inept and 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 one other thing, she has not really made any public statement on this issue. And, and that was my that, next you know, question, yeah. Congressman. You know, and, and I've yeah. heard that members of the Secret Service were sending text messages amongst themselves on Saturday, saying, mm -hmm. "Wait a second, 
Why hasn't our leader come out and commented on this? You know, we're talking about the assassination attempt of a of a former president. Yeah. All right. We're talking about an inch away. Donald Trump's not there at the convention last night. That's how serious this is. Somehow this 20 year old uh, outcast Thomas Matthew Crooks is able to climb that ladder you were talking about and sit. And we've got a map. We can show you where this this took place. If you look at the video of this, mm -hmm. I know they're saying 130 yards BS. OK, this is a football field. It looks like a Tom Brady throw from where Trump was to where this guy had him lined up in his sights. It's that close. This was such a miss. Just a question for you, because after any time we have something like this happen, mm -hmm. think about the Kennedy assassination. OK, 60 years Both ago, people, yeah, people yeah. still exactly 68 and 63, Bobby and Jack. But people still ask questions about what happened in Dallas that day. Was there a second gunman? When I say the grassy knoll, people know what I'm talking about, Congressman. Do you buy into any of those wild conspiracy theories that have cropped up over the last three days? Well, conspiracy theorists now are just squishy moderates, in my opinion, after being in D.C. This, for, mm -hmm. for three terms in Congress. This is, uh, yeah, there is a conspiracy. And um, I think because th there's no other explanation for it. You have Donald Trump Jr. last night even said he alluded to something like that. I hope to get to speak to him today, maybe at the convention. Mm -hmm. But the, um, I, yeah, too much. It's just too much. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I talked to, I've, I talked to, look, I talked to a Marine Corps sniper, a SEAL sniper, CIA operative, um, former operator, all just shortly after this occurred. And they all said the same thing. This is something's up. And we were touched by a hand of God because, you know, mm. the Marine sniper said, this was a punk shot. He said, I could have made that with a 22 rifle. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, we, we got really lucky. By the really grace of lucky. God, Donald Trump turned mm -hmm. his head at the right moment yep. during this well, event. God's this hand's hand on America. We just keep slapping it away. Yeah. Congressman, we got to leave it there. Great to see you. Uh, we've got your colleague, Congressman James Comer, joining us in just a little bit for more on this same Great. topic. So we appreciate what you're doing, and uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Jamie, you'll get to the bottom of it.